Good morning, folks. Our star is calm. All the filaments sat idly. The eruptions stayed away as well, and the solar flaring is still in the doldrums, unable to produce any significant X-ray events and unlikely to do so today due to a lack of complex sunspots, just these smaller ones incoming. The solar wind continued those fluctuations we mentioned yesterday, and we continue to have shield instability as we await filament CME impact. On the left, you see a small red negative corona hole incoming. It got erased by those filament snaps, and we're looking at positive magnetism. Now, while that slightly lessens the potency of the Earth-facing corona hole, it faces Earth indeed and is trans-equatorial short-term peak in the Earthquake Watch Index today through Wednesday. Top story comes out of the MMS, NASA's Magnetosphere mission. As you watch the SVS animation of their new tetrahedral orbit, consider that no newsroom activity on MMS has happened since June, and it was happening fairly regularly, and their last weekly mission update was at the beginning of July. What's up with the MMS? Extreme weather event of note in Italy over the weekend. We discussed hailstorms on fly on the wall a bit, and we just had another bad one, baseball-sized and coming down in Naples. There were reports of injury and damage. Shot of the day comes from the ESA. Visible light just won't do here as the land monitoring satellite Sentinel-2 happens to have maritime uses as well. This is the Baltic Sea Bloom. You can see the ship trail cutting through the colors there, and there are a number of ship trails on the larger zoomed out image. And there. But also, check out the counterclockwise outward spiral to the density gradients on the right, next to clockwise outward spiral gradients on the left. Wonder what would cause something like that, he said sarcastically. Website members, our update from Friday left mobile users struggling to log in. We are on that, and I suggest you check it today when you get a chance to see if that menu pulls down. And alas, we are 40 days and 40 nights from observing the frontier. October is the prettiest time in the Northeast. I'll be adding an early morning planet watch to the schedule, too. The speakers know their stuff. This is going to be fun. We've got the tropical systems across the water's top viewer locations, the current conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.